If you have an odd angular shape layout like this, how would you kick off your design? My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seed, we will be sharing with you how we tackle an irregular layout plan of a 2,600 square feet, four bedroom and four bathroom apartment. Instead of being deterred by the odd angular shape of the space, it served as a perfect canvas for us to apply dynamic forms which plays well into our hands of making the occupants feel right at home. First thing we did was to square out the functional spaces. Doing that, we would now be left with the sofa area which was left in an odd shape a customized V-shaped sofa was then designed to balance off the irregularities of the remaining space while taking the advantage of turning this customized sofa with a unique turquoise color fabric, turning it into a main highlight to the center of the general space. As you enter the existing property, there wasn't a clear entry point naturally due to the odd angles. We added a stretch of steel feature divider that acts not just as a feature to the space but also to give the dry kitchen behind it a better sense of privacy. A feature black plaster ceiling border was designed to give a clear contrast that guides you into the living hall. The TV wall has been carefully divided to even out the space between the short foyer and the living area. To downplay the size of the TV cabinet, subtle stone-like tiles in large sizes are applied to the wall with a minimalistic upright cabinet with drawers sitting on the floor. An interesting approach was applied at the kitchen. Due to the insufficient natural lighting at this part of the home, we decided to expose and link both the kitchen through a backsplash opening, letting the natural light through the rear side of the apartment. The location of the kitchen sink and also the model of the faucets were intentionally picked to be identical. This choice was to create an illusion of a mirror image of the backsplash. The statement that gives the strongest impression and impact when one visits this property has to be this sculptured-like island that was specifically designed to be inclusive and conversational. The design is just picturesque. It frames an astonishing perspective from both sides, be it looking at the dry kitchen from the living or looking out from the living within the dry kitchen. The mass on the top is given a floating illusion supported by a solid hollow section steel structure. This steel structure had to be sturdy enough to withstand the solid south stone white arabesque quartz top. This tabletop material was specifically chosen because of the beauty of the marble wings and how natural it curves down to parade its refined surface with very minimal joint lines. This quartz top by Constantino is engineered with one of the hardest materials and technology which makes it durable, non-porous, stain resistant, highly heat resilient and most importantly antibacterial. With a subtle pendant lamp that hangs right across this gracefully crafted island top, the lighting floods evenly across the surface making the dry kitchen design a sophisticated icon that naturally becomes a conversational piece. At the dining area, the wall cross was demolished to be turned into a featured display cabinet that flushes against the wall, tucking in the thickness of the display cabinets neatly within the boundaries of the study room. The positioning of the built-in carpentry strip lights gives the refined customized display cabinet an edgy outline. Within the display shelving lays a black glass door 
that leads inside a private work studio. The owners enjoy collecting books and having a quiet room to indulge in his reading was one of the key requests. The general approach of the design carries through into the bedrooms, which is made to feel like a retreat section of the home. Grey tonalities layered onto natural solid timber flooring sets the mood to adjourn to bed with a calming sensation. The hanging pendant lamps gives a clear tabletop spacing which allows more clearance for your books and displays. The height of the pendant lamps were also intentionally installed aligned to the black mirror feature on the headboard to create an interesting reflection to break the monotony of the grey full height headboard. The existing walk-in closet was demolished and was then turned into a sliding glass door. This doesn't only enhance the walk-in wardrobe, having a visually larger impression, but also applying mirror glass doors for the wardrobe cabinets does indeed complement the feature itself. Similar to the pop-up colour from the living sofa, the quirky favourable colour choice by the owners was carried through the corridor that leads to the master bedroom feature wall and also to the s curtains. In one of our previous episodes, we shared the details and tips of how we could craft a tasteful mood board which matches your home design. In relation to the tips shared in that episode, this project would be an interesting example of how we could apply an outstanding colour of your choice to match into your mood board. If there's any colour or any challenging layouts that you would really like to explore and you are facing a hard time visualising how the final outcome would look like, do share that colour or layout with us on the comment columns below and let us explore together in visualising it. My name is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification button. Thank you for watching.